Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and the Rise of the Philippine Tiger campaign. So, I think over the next couple of episodes, we are going to be just doing some pretty heavy economic focuses. We'll do some colonizing still, for sure, but I want to get Madurai and Arissa integrated. Colonial enthusiasm, done. <laughs> Go. Was that a plus 25 global settler increase? Oh, that was a plus 25 global settler increase. Okay. That's a thing. We're up to 126 settlers a year now, which is pretty spectacular. Very nice. So May and June still respectively for these guys. That's definitely not too bad. We may see those change a little bit as we get closer to annexing them. It's not too bad, though. Like I said, not bad at all. All right. Buildings. Let's build some stuff. Okay. Natives. Cool. Whatever. Manufactory. Oh, we can't build any. What? Why can't I build a manufactory? Oh, uh, we can build tropical wood manufactories because they're cheap. Um, do we? Is it worth it? I don't think so. Nope, not especially. I mean, well, that's 0.2 ducats to 0.5 there. And now nah, it's not worth it when we can build ma other manufactories that will make us quite a bit more money. Yeah, we have to wait a little bit to build some manufactories anyway. <laughs> Okay, 640. I'm not going to take another chance. I We can live with that. Tupas. Uh, and somebody said that EU4 has its own uh, numbering system, but it's a, it's a little late now. It's a little late now, unfortunately. So you're Tupas the 7th. The f you're going to be... Oh, see? Hey, it did work. I don't know. Maybe that's just for the air. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But we can get a claim on Jampur now. We can actually get multiple claims on Jampur. So we might as well do that. Let's see, Nepal. What trade node are you in? You're not in Bengal. Hmm. I kind of want to just... Okay, actually, we'll feed him Doab land and we'll take all the uh, Bengal node land for ourselves eventually. More than likely. Let's stop this army from drilling. Let's see. Would Hassan we join? We have a couple of claims on Jampur now. Uh, policy change, don't care. Yeah, you can hate me all you want, Ming. You can hate me all you want. We look weak. How do we look weak? Well, economic, economically, we look a little weak. Because we are a little weak economically, but it's not bad. And I completely forgot what I was about to do. Um, Something popped up. Oh, yeah. See, so this goes away. Yeah, but we don't have to worry about this at all. It'll definitely drop off before that spawns. Um, let's go ahead and seek support of the clergy. We need to give them a little land to get them up to 40% because uh, the New World missions fell off. Let's see here. This still has some decent autonomy. You can have that. That's production, though. Um, you can have that. That's fine. Okay, and then we'll go to our... Brahmins. There we go. Establish new world missions. 100 admin. Thank you very much. We'll probably take our admin tech next. Although, that being said, it's probably worth grabbing this tech cost. Wait, what? Okay, round two. <laughs> round two. All right, that's fine. We lost a general here, so let's go ahead and roll for that. What's our general cap, actually? Two of four, so we can roll for a general for every one of these armies, which we're all going to get, which we're going to get moving towards the front. All right, well, this is a good opportunity to uh, beat up Bachmanis and Ming, since they both declared on us. That's hilarious. Come at me, bro. I dare you, Bachmanis. Come at me. You will die. They have a lot more troops than we do, but it's, I don't, we're going to slaughter Bachmanis. They do have tech 22. Okay. So they saved up. Well, actually, it's not even that expensive at this point. That's super cheap. Hey, we're getting some innovativeness. That's new. We haven't had innovativeness all game. Oh, come on. Don't destroy this fleet again. Come on. Stop killing my trade fleets, damn it. Do you know how expensive they are? Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. I think our colonial nation's going to be pretty well left alone. It seemed to be last time. But let's go ahead and roll for a couple of generals right here. We did also get the extra fire pip from offensive, which I'm pretty happy about. So, uh, do do do, randomizer. All right, drawing lots. 
randomizing randomizing and dave sutherland welcome to the admirals and generals club my good man i do you may or may not have joined us before but uh welcome anyway dave yep we need an e there there we go yep believe that's spelled correctly excellent all right dave i'm counting on you not bad okay we're up to uh oh we just hit 60 percent army professionalism with that not bad. Six shock, two fire, pretty weak. Oh, on the fire, unfortunately. Let's roll for another general, and that's going to be... Grand General. Oh, Grand General Hux. Welcome back to the Admirals and Generals Club, good sir. All right, let's hope. Whoop. There are two of you. Why are there two of you? That's weird. You're not very... This one's not very good. We'll go, we'll go with the one with five fire, or five shock. So we have a lot of really good shock pip generals. That's uh, kind of funny, actually. You know what? I'm going to coordinate all of our stacks into Ming. That is going to be fine. This is not going to be worth that much war score to uh, Bakmanis. That being said, the Landu is the war goal. Eh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We're just going to focus completely on Ming at this point. Our vassals will still get integrated. We did lose 10 uh, or 7 ships out of that fleet, I think. Let's see, where are you guys? You guys just chill. Don't do anything. You're not allowed to do anything stupid. We need to upgrade our trade fleets as well. Okay, this is fine. Nepal is bringing some troops over, so I'm going to go ahead and tell him to attach to this stack. That's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and just go. All right, Siege of Costa, not surprised. I mean, it's a level 2 port. It's not even that surprising, honestly. All of our stacks are inbound to Smackdown Ming, which is exactly what we plan on doing. Since Orisa's not in this war, actually, they do give military access, but... Yeah, this is distracting the Bakmanis. Perhaps, actually, now that I think about it, it may be a smarter move to just straight up go after Bakmanis, since that... Oh, that's the front... That we are the least defended on. So I think that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we can make it through with this. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We I don't know if we'll be able to make it through with this stack. And I doubt Bachmanis' uh, navy would let us pass quietly. Yeah, we'll take the prestige hit, unfortunately. Not super pleased about that. But we'll go ahead and deal with Bachmanis. I think that's going to be our best course of action. Yeah, we're going to just run and hope that all of our stacks make it over there. That's fine. I think, uh, I don't think Bachmanis realizes how, how mad this makes me. We did spend quite a few, yeah, we ended up spending 100 military points for Grand General Hux, but we needed the general, needed the leadership, so that's gonna be just fine. You guys come to mean to poor. Yeah, we're just gonna siege. We're just gonna carpet siege Bachmanis at this point. Uh, ooh, 75 spy network on, uh, Jean Poor. Yes, please. Thank you. You guys can come here. We will be taking some attrition for this, but we have that manpower recovery speed, which is nice. I'm going to tell Nepal to actually... Yeah, I want Nepal... Nepal, I want you to come deal with these. Just come grab these for us real quick. You have troops right there. Just deal with it. All right, and we can go ahead and move on to Mandla, which is only a level 2 fort. Excellent. So where's ba where are Bachmanis' troops? They've all basically clustered down here like, oh god, there's so many of them. I think this is going to be worth taking over our next admin tech. Let's just do it. We'll get that tech cost reduction for everything. That means this even gets cheaper, which is lovely. Uh, still can't really convert stuff. Money we're going to need to hold on to. Still have some loans. Plenty of manpower. Interesting. So you guys go there. This is still a level 2 fort. We're just going to blitz Bachmanis down, honestly. I see no reason not to. We won't, we won't barrage as much as I want to. We won't barrage. Actually, they are getting a stack relatively close here. So I'm going to go de-siege this. And then I'm going to bring this army over here, honestly. See what they do. Are they going to engage? No? No, they, they don't want to fight me? You don't want to fight, Bachmanis? I want to fight. I want to fight. I definitely want to fight you. Let's fight. Come on, Bachmanis. Come at me. Oh, ow. Okay. 
Uh, can we get there in time, actually? With this other stack? Appears so, but they are bringing in another army. That was probably not the best battle we've ever fought, by any means. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and just continue occupying Bachmanis. We'll beat him up. Get out. Goodbye. Thank you. Don't come back. We'll let this stack reinforce a little bit. We'll run this one stack down there. Yeah, that's fine. We're taking the war goal here. We're about to take a fortress up in the north, which is going to be fine as well. Lovely. Oh, I say that. Never mind. Where's Ming? Okay. <gasps> Nepal! You ninja Nepal, run! Run and just distract the entirety of the Ming army. That's glorious. Yeah, ha them having tech to mil tech 22 does hurt us a fair bit when it comes to the battles. Definitely does hurt a fair bit. Let's go ahead and get that siege there. This one stack was part of that army. Excellent. All right, Mandla has fallen. Is this a... F nah, that's hills. They don't have very good morale, but still. Hmm. Oh, well, that's going to be fine. So they're occupying all of this stuff while I am in return occupying this and getting ever closer to their capital. All right, there's Ming. Well, that fort's going to hold for a while. I have faith. Let's go ahead and turn our defensiveness edict on. Let's just make this hold as long as it possibly can. The one linchpin in our uh, defensive line is East Bengal, honestly. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll make it a state. Sure, we'll spend 12 admin doing that, but the only reason we'll... Well, the main reason I want to make it a state right now is for local defensiveness, even though that's only a level 2 fort. It will help. It will help somewhat. Alright. Yep, natives rising up. Don't have time for that. We're fighting a massive war once again. Alright, Warongal has fallen. Lovely. Let's go ahead, bring this army here. We'll send you straight to their capital in Badar. I don't think you wanted to do this, Bachmanis. I really don't think you wanted to do this, buddy. I'm pretty sure you didn't want to do this. Yeah, you may have Ming helping, but it doesn't mean they're actually going to help. Uh, we can still convert stuff. Let's go ahead and make that a full core now. Getting 11 mil power a month. What can we do here? Ooh, fort defense. How much do you cost? A lot. How much are we paying for reinforcements? Not that much. Sad face. I would like that level 3 advisor, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Alright, starting to siege Badar down, which is only a level 3 fort. Yep. This is what happens when you don't upgrade your forts, Buckmanis. Should have upgraded your forts, buddy. Okay, so he's coming around here, which is hilarious. Let's send a stack up there. Is he going to go siege Mandla? I think he probably will go siege Mandla. Ming is still sieging things. Don't care. That's fine. Bakmanis is... Yeah, they're still sieging this down. They're going out to Ceylon now. I'm just checking to see if we have anything else happening. No, it does not. We're getting blockaded here. That's probably costing us a fair bit of war score, honestly. Oh, well, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. <coughs> so, so Bakmana saw we were bringing a 40 stack up and was like, nope, nah, nope, we're out, man. We're out. Let's let this one stack get uh, locked into that province. We'll go stack wipe that. We're going to get these two unoccupied. We should go retake Mysore as well. All right, where are you going? You're going to East Barar. Okay, free little stack wipe. Gonna go deoccupy that. Cool. Good job. Got a wall breach in Badar already. That's pretty nice. Ooh, hey. They had to fight some rebels. That's funny. Okay, let's bring this stack. Eh. I guess let's go over to Raipur. It does isolate this stack a little bit, but I think they have to go siege Mandala first. And then we're not taking attrition, which I like. I like quite a bit. Um, let's go de-siege Mysore. That'll get a lot of this stuff de-sieged as well. Let's see. Uh, they're going south. I think they're going to Warongal. You guys can come down here then. It's going to be fine. All right. Badar has fallen. Lovely stuff. Let's see. Should we turn our attention to Ming at this point? It might not be a bad idea. This is jungle, so I don't really want to fight you there. 
We're gonna deoccupy that. That being said, we could collapse on these stacks. All right, we collapse there, we collapse there. Excellent. They won't be able to reinforce each other. That being said, we probably will take some pretty serious losses in at least one of these battles. I think we'll be able to slaughter them. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll take some Diplo power. Okay. Well, they came in here, and they get the crossing penalty. Oh, yeah. So we won that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Definitely have been beating Gokmanis up a fair bit so far. Now there's Ming. And he's sieging some stuff. So this one's about to fall. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the defensiveness edict here as well. Just to kind of slow this process down for him. Make him have to take... Make Ming take longer to siege that. All right. Bachmanis, I think, is pretty well dealt with. And especially once we get these forts deoccupied, I am not even concerned, really, to be honest. Ming is bringing some troops into here. 92% siege. That was... That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Actually, let's just go see what he's going to do. Let's take this troop there. Uh, you can just go siege Vigianagar, honestly. Alright, hey, look. It's a, uh... It's a Bachmana stack trying to resiege Badar. Give me that fort. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bachmanis. You still have high war enthusiasm. I have your capital. That's the thing, man. And it's just because Ming's involved. And it's honestly just because Ming's involved. Okay. Well, that's not too big of an issue. Like I said, I don't really think it's going to be. Break your Doab has fallen. I guess let's go reinforce here and get them at Badar. I see no reason to not. Ming, will they take that fight? I don't know. Let's come up here, though. See what they're going to do. So I think we lost that fort. Wow, these are all getting super close to uh, falling. I don't like that. Miltech? Yes, Miltech. Oh, fantastic. We get can we get better cannons now. Lovely. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Uh full core. We still can't full core Daka. We are going to need at least a month of uh, recovery. Oh, we're gonna need a couple months of recovery then. That's fine. Really, Ming, you're taking this. I mean it's dry lands. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we have some more important things to deal with currently. Okay, Ming. If you want to fight this, we can fight this. Bye. <laughs> Get out. All right, well, that's not bad. Ayutaya fell, damn. Okay, so we've lost some more war score there, but Bachmanis is at medium enthusiasm. That's 39 war score for those three provinces. We do have the forts in the area. Hmm. <laughs> Manpower's fine at this point. I'm not super worried about it. What I am concerned about... Oh, hey, this stack is here. That's cool. Um, what I am concerned about is these sieges down here. Let's go see if we can offer Ming some bait. Because that's literally what that stack is, is bait. Fine, we'll take this fight as well. We do. We probably need to start putting more infantry back in our armies. But, that's going to be fine. You guys do get that monthly recovery. Uh, let's see. Are, we, are they going to need help here? No. Does not appear so. Chiang Mai has fallen as well. Bakman has got stack wiped. Okay. That's not bad. Let's see, if we don't demand anything, we're actually eight reasons out away from a white piece right now, and I would not be opposed to that, honestly. Because I would rather, I would much rather fight this war on my own terms. And this is not on my terms, they declared on us. Okay, that's fine. I guess we just continue to occupy things as quickly as possible. Basically, siege race Ming. We're siege racing. I don't like doing this, but... We're siege racing until Bachmanis wants to make peace. Because so I think that's our best option right now. We'll have to see. I'm 
Ming is getting some occupations over in, uh... Do you really? Is it Cam Dash? No, I was gonna say. It's like, let's fight. You got some... You got guts, Bachmanis. I'll give you that much, man. You have guts, for sure. Let's just go ahead and go hunt that army down. I see no reason not to. Okay, so Ming is occupying some stuff. That's not surprising. They do have to siege this down now, though. And it is going to take some time. This is a bad fort. Hmm. Hmm. They still have to siege this as well. Pegu is about to fall, though. Which I find kind of amusing. Hmm. That's interesting, actually. And we're here. We have a 40 stack in the area. Huh. I don't think we'll be able to get back in time, honestly. That being said, what if we go uh, pursue this Ming stack and see if we can provoke a battle? There we go. Mercantilism? <gasps> oh, I don't want to do this because I'd rather get... Yeah, we're taking the mercantilism. We're definitely taking the mercantilism here. Oh, no! Oh, that's bad. We, um... Oh, God. Our cannons got split off, so the infantry's going in first, and the cannons are going to be there eventually. Uh, that's really bad. Siege of Pegu is down. There we go. Cannons are there. That was, uh, not pleasant. Pegu fell. That's not exactly ideal for us. Let's go send this one stack back, I suppose. Oh, you want to siege Katmandu? Oh, dude, that was a bad mis- that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea, Bachmanis. You want to siege Katmandu. That was, a, that, that was a mistake. That was a terrible decision, friend. That was definitely a terrible decision. All right, so our forts there have fallen. How are we doing on white piece? We were super close. 19 reasons. Okay, we'll divert some stuff to make sure things get uh, delivered. Okay, that siege is still not falling. Let's go up and uh, hit this other siege uh skill three trade efficiency now that's interesting yeah we're still close to annexing those hmm yeah ming has just a ridiculous amount of forces in this area we did kill off that bachmanis army though you fall back to chittagong for now we have to conduct a uh, multi-front war sadly up oh, those are rebels sieging that so no Go to Kandesh. And we still can't get that level 2 siege. Game. EU4, what do you mean? What do you mean, EU4? Oh, well, there goes our fleet. That sucks. Well, we only lost one heavy, but we lost 20 transports. So we need to rebuild the fleet. That's not surprising. Okay, we have the armies in the area. Let's go ahead and move back in at this point. Alright, that's fallen. You ready, Bachmanis? You want out. One. Nope. Let's just make a white piece. Get it over with. There we go. All right. So, I mean, casualties weren't bad, but there's just a lot less of us than there is of them. White piece. So, we have five years to prepare for the next war, which I think is going to be more than enough time, honestly. Because by the time the next war uh, goes, we should have our uh, subjects integrated. All right, you go there. Austria's the H leader of the HRE again. Cool. That's fine. There we go. Core that. Excellent. Excellent. War exhaustion's kind of spendy. War exhaustion's pretty far up there at this point. Hmm. We'll have to see. But I think we are going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. Let's just get our armies drilling. Group back up. Get the drill going definitely get that drill going nice and on that note guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up for today's episode of rise of the philippine tigers so as always i want to thank you for tuning in spending a little part of your day here it is greatly appreciated if you guys are enjoying the series please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel out and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future my name is ori i hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one